This is a river, and if you can build some bridge piers and place a bridge deck on top of them so you can cross the river, now you have invented the most basic beam bridge. If the river becomes very wide, you can continue adding more piers and lengthen the bridge deck. But too many piers will occupy the water area and affect ship traffic. So you think of reducing the number of piers, design two bridge towers, and use cable stays to support the deck, just like a person lifting up a wooden board. But if the span is too large, the cable stays must be made very long, making material performance and construction more complex and not economical. So you think of replacing the middle section with two thick suspension cables and hanging the bridge deck from the cables, just like two people holding hands to lift a board. This is the suspension bridge, and it can span extremely long distances. But if the bridge needs to pass through a busy port, the bridge piers will still affect ship passage. So you come up with another idea. Sink large pre-made concrete tubes underwater so vehicles can travel below the water. But since these tubes weigh tens of thousands of tons, how can they be transported to the designated location? So you dig a water basin on the shore, seal both ends of the tube, and place it in the basin. When the basin is filled with water, the tube floats like a balloon, then ships tow it to the designated location and sink it underwater. After connecting the tubes one by one underwater, you have invented the immersed tube tunnel. Then connect the newly built bridge to the tunnel. Congratulations, you have invented the Hong Kong-Zhuhai-Macau Bridge and the Shenzhen-Zhongshan Link.